Hello my Capricorns, I am going to be doing your love reading for this week. I am calling in my spirit guides, ancestors of the highest good, as well as you guys, Archangel, your ancestors, and those of the highest light, guardian angels, spirit guides, guide, whatever deity it is that you pray to. I am sending cleansing energy your way as well. I hope and pray that all is well with you guys. Thank you all for watching. And please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me comments if anything resonates with you guys. Let me know. Let me know. Or if you guys are interested in a personal reading, then I offer those. My information will be in the description box below. Again, I am calling in the spirit gods. I am calling in my ancestors of the highest light. I am calling in archangels for my Capricorns. And we are going to tap into their love life. Please let us into the Capricorns love life for this week. And let us know what it is that they should be prepared for. What are they going to be dealing with this week? Call again my light workers. Please give me clarification on the message. Okay, we have a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio that you guys are dealing with, or maybe this is a sun that is in your chart. Okay, we have playing too many games. Kid games, they could play mental games, it could be video games, either one is too many. It could be all of them. Either way it go, they are playing too many games, they're not holding themselves accountable. Um, you didn't get closure. And spirit guides are also saying that you do not need it. Heal yourself. We also have bloody sex. So maybe someone has had sex on their period or they enjoy having sex on their period or whatever. You guys, I am also <clears throat> going to inform you that that is a very um, serious connection or a serious time where you are exchanging energies with your partner. So ensure that you know what it is that you are doing first. Because again, it says set boundaries. So it, it could be, okay, I'm not having sex while I'm on my period. Or, you know, it could be boundaries because they're playing games. They're on some little boy shit or some little kid shit, I should say. Either way, go. With this, please understand the energies are more potent and... It is not necessarily good to do this unless you are committed, connected, you know, whatever, to your partner. And still be careful with what it is that you are thinking while you are having sex. Because you can manifest just about anything that you think of. Because again, like I said, it's more potent during that time. Okay, we have someone here who is resentful, name calling, like I said, playing too many games, got a sneaky side hoe, that's out here living their best life, and now someone is in narc recovery, narcissistic recovery, meaning they were dealing with a narcissist, and now they're living their best life. Maybe catering to themselves now, asking, you know, themselves, how may I serve you? Or maybe their person, the sneaky side hole, maybe asking, you know, how may I serve you? I don't know. Again, you guys apply the energy where it resonates, whatever, if it's you or if it's this water sign that you're dealing with. I don't know. You guys only apply the energies wherever it fits. 
do not force it if it's not for you then please check out the other signs i have other signs in the video you guys may check out the other water signs to see if you know if you can connect the pieces if it doesn't resonate with you however i hope that i am able to help you guys okay so we have someone here that is really submissive i'm yours until we die um you have to ask one of my kids to help you are all of my kids outside okay well i can't get it right now i'm in the middle of recording honey okay close the door thank you excuse me you guys the neighbor kid just decided to walk in my house and ask for snacks so <laughs> whatever <laughs> okay it says i'm yours till we die so someone here is like I am getting good energy right here. But then this is like, eh. Okay, so someone is a single father. I'm not sure if this is the characteristics of this water sign. Oh, I apologize. Sorry, y'all. Okay. I'm not sure if, okay. if these are the qualities of the water sign or if it is something else. You know, it may be you. The person you're dealing with I don't know someone with a disease or maybe could be getting a disease because they had sex with someone while they were bloody maybe and now they're resentful and calling the person names maybe I don't give a fuck I love you then now and forevermore twin flame energy and of course, with all this, how may I serve you? I'm yours till we die. That is twin flame energy. Okay, we have dreadhead, and then we have narc fuckboy. So I am going to take it as if the narc fuckboy is a dreadhead, and he acts as if he does not give a fuck. And probably the one that has the sneaky side hoes. But again, like I said, you guys apply the energy wherever it resonates. You know what you guys are going through, who you're dealing with. So, yeah. I'm just here to give the message. Just that messenger. <sighs> okay. Um, let's clear up some cards here because I have my table full now. Okay, what is the clarification for... Hmm... well okay we have someone that's compassionate and these fell in my lap helped me learn how to communicate my parents didn't teach me so that's definitely the energy of whoever it is that's played too many games and then i'm taking it as yes that twin flame yes 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 okay 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 so this um, this one that is still needing help learning how to communicate and playing too many games, not holding himself accountable, and name calling. I'm going to take all of that because that's all negative energy. Um, I don't give a fuck. Sneaky side hoe. You obviously can't give a fuck if you have sneaky side hoes or if you're out here having bloody sex and resentful pretty sure that you have to be resentful for it now someone's resentful here okay we have pack light boy ba so again i said it was probably a dude with dreads i already said that shit from the top that's the one that you're dismissing possibly next week i said this is a weekly reading so there you have it um sorry again we have someone that is emotionally stable, spiritual love, chemistry, big energy, and meaningful. So I'm taking that as your twin flame. 
that is the one that you just let go of that's why the narc recovery came out because that was the fuck boy that you told to motherfucking pack light it could be a female again apply it wherever you toxic and dismissed there was no closure possibly a single father or this new energy is a single father again apply that wherever i loved you then now and forever more so this could be this past person coming in saying that or this could be a new person that is coming in you know that is going to be emotionally stable that is going to be compassionate that is going to want to know how can he cater to you. I'm yours till we die. Because we have a spiritual love. We have a spiritual connection. But someone's in narc recovery. And living their best life. And I don't fucking blame them. Because again. Diseases are real. Maybe some of you guys could be finding out next week that your person got a disease or that maybe you have gotten a disease from someone or something in that area. Or it could be that you set boundaries with this person so that you don't catch a disease. Again, apply it wherever it fits. Um, we are going to clear, clarify next week. What is going on next week, Spirit Guts? Please give me clarity on next week. Imposter Syndrome. Submit. Fuck your friend and heal your inner child. So, next week, you are probably going to be finding out about this or getting, you know, separating from the imposter. Because they may have also fucked your friend and is expecting you to submit. But in reality, they are needing to heal their inner child. Or maybe healing your inner child next week. Let's get more. Next week. We have clarification on next week. Clear messages on next week, please. I am going to cut it here. Finding myself. So, yeah, like I said, you, you're going to be cutting that person off. If you haven't already, then, you know, next week you're going to. And you're going to be like, look, I just want to find myself. I'm going to heal my inner child. Or you need to heal your inner child. Whichever. Okay. Now we have single father. Where does the single father come in for my Capricorn spirit guide? Please tell me what is going on with the single father here. Release their urge to control everything. Flew it out. Bless this fuck. So this single father is going to be the one that I feel like going to be the new one that you're going to be dealing with. And you're going to be getting flown out. You're going to be feeling best, blessed as fuck. And you're also going to release the urge to control everything and probably just go with the flow. Living your best life. Okay, clarification on set boundaries. What are my Capricorn set boundaries on? this is yelling for what we gonna be all right so setting boundaries within your relationship maybe setting boundaries um maybe with your emotions i'm getting emotions here Someone may be, I mean, you're, you may be yelling and then, you know, you got somebody that's telling you we're going to be all right, but then you're not really going to be all right unless you set boundaries. Let me get one more for set boundaries.
Nothing I say is good enough for you. Told you. Now, clarification for the disease. Thank you, Spirit Gods, for that message. I love it when they give me clear messages. And I'm in the position to hear it. Goodness, it's so good. It feels so amazing. Clarification for disease, please. Clarification for disease. What does my Capricorn need to know about disease? Protection. Ooh, y'all seen that shit fall out right on top. Protection. I haven't learned how to communicate. So the one that's in the, the toxic energy, that's the one that you need to wear protection. That's the narc. That's the one. Don't go back to it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, so someone's asking, okay, so who is this bitch? And that may be a bitch that you cherish spending your time with. <laughs> or maybe that's what you're telling your person. <laughs> maybe, you know, you're saying nothing I say. Like I, I cherish every moment with you. But nothing that I say is good enough for you. And then you're like, how can I when it's a bitch here? <laughs> or maybe something happened in the winter time. Again, you guys apply it, but y'all seen that protection, so you guys better stay protected. Mm, I told you right here, right now. Again, we have water signs. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Okay. I'm going to pull a couple more cards. Spirit Gods, what else do you have for my Capricorns? Whoa, whoa. Spirit Gods, what messages do you have for my Capricorns? Light Worker. Okay, let's see what else. Maybe you guys are light workers, like you're very intuitive. Um, could be. You know, a witch in a sense. If that's what you will, a believer of the the universe. Okay, let's see what else we have. Seeing what you didn't see before. That's what I said. Intuitive. Y'all about to be seeing something that you didn't see before. Because you're going to use your intuition. And I, again, hope that this message is able to help you guys. Like, I'm not here to make someone stay together or make someone depart. But if it's a narcissist, if it is a narcissist involved, I advise any and everyone to run the fuck away from any narcissistic individual. I don't give a fuck who it is. Run. That's toxic energy. If you are going to deal with them, stay strapped with some crystals. Because right here is family curse and family traditions. And those just fell on the floor. So maybe some of you guys, um, it may not necessarily be like a hex sort of curse. It could be, you know, the energy that they are vibrating in that's something that they're like a family tradition and it's not really a tradition it's more so a curse than it is a tradition or it could be you know um something down the bloodline someone was cursed down the bloodline it very well could be i mean i i'm not sure but we're gonna tap in to see let's see Family curse. May I have clarification on family curse? Progress. Seeing things that you didn't see before, so of course it's going to be progress. Um, family traditions. What is the family traditions for Capricorns?
Gemini lover. So you guys may also be dealing with a Gemini that is maybe a relative. That needs to be prayed over. I'm getting. Let's get more on family curse. Or that done the curse. Maybe. Let's see. Divine timing. So yeah, something down the bloodline. That's what I'm taking. Family cursed. Concentrate on the task at hand. Family tradition. Can't sleep. So you may feel like your family is cursed and you can't sleep. And you need to concentrate on the task at hand. Yes. Yes was the card that fell out. So that is exactly what those cards meant. Determined. You're being guided. Career change. Progress. So maybe some of you guys are trying to heal generational curses. Maybe some of your your family, you know, have settled or just stayed in relationships or, you know, have dealt with people that were um, narcissists and stayed. But then now you're breaking the cycle and just like, no, I'm not doing I'm not dealing with it. The test of faith. Take action. Walking away from pain. There you have it. All right, let's go for some clarification. May I have clarification on this overall energy, please? We have the chaser in a codependent relationship, abandonment issues. That may be also something else that your family has, um, if you will, been cursed with. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Like I said, living your best life, enjoying the summertime. We got one more that just fell out. Okay, this one is not enough, frustrated in the relationship, lack of confidence, ego or fear or jealousy or self-sabotage. So either someone self is self-sabotaging or you're just, like I said, overall tired. I asked for the overall energy and that was it. You're tired of the relationship and you're walking away from pain. You're moving on. Okay, this one fell out. Not today. Not dealing. Someone still angry and boundaries once again. So you guys may not be talking to your person right now. Okay. Now let's clarify the Gemini lover to get clarity on why it fell out. I have clarity on why the Gemini card is here, please. Here, guys, ancestors, those of the white light, my light workers, please tap in with me, please. Oh, well, there it is. It says mirroring each other. Self-image, relationship, reflect our wounds, introspection. So some of you guys may have been dealing with a Gemini that was reflecting your wounds that made you, you know, tap into your energy and you know, you had to walk away from in order to see progress. Maybe the Gemini lover is the third party. We have the seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. If you guys have not cheated on your mate or you're not being cheated on, then this is, I mean, and you're single then this is going to be you guys hooking up and flirting and maybe dating or someone that's a Gemini being temp tempting. That's trying to bring temptation. Okay, we have the take action here. What is it that they should take action on, Spirit God? What is it that they should take action on? What is my Capricorn's? 
the phoenix new phase renewal growth transformation so growing just like i said using your intuition and growing past this any more messages your person is looking at your photos missing you and or making new memories let's see if we got any more messages then i'm going to close it out again if this message resonates with you guys then please like share subscribe comment whatever you need i will respond any more messages for my capricorns this one is staying up focus on your back love oh. Let's get that back and fuck everybody else. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.